Right you guys, what is going on? And welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts to American Football video. Today's video is a first, actually. I'm going to be rea I'm, I'm going to be reacting, if I can get my words straight, to a New Zealander who has just committed to a four-year full-ride scholarship to an NCAA uh, college football program. How incredible is that? I don't know how many New Zealanders have played football at a Div 1 college. But what I do know is that there is currently zero, although now there's two, but there was zero a week ago, zero New Zealanders. There might be a load of Australians who've gone through Pro Kick, they're in America now, but there's been no New Zealanders. And I was really, really surprised because, you know, Australia is so close to New Zealand. And I guess I was disappointed too, because at the end of the day, every punter that goes through Pro Kick, they're all being called Aussies. Aussie, 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 that's all they are. They're all being called Aussies. They're all being called rugby players. And at the end of the day, we all know that New Zealand is better than Aussie at rugby and we're actually a different country. We're not connected. So guys, so what I'm hoping guys at the end of the day is that these two guys from New Zealand can hold it down for us in the world of top level college football next year. Because at the end of the day, I'm so sick of hearing those commentators call New Zealanders Australians just being completely unaware, completely unaware. guys. If they started quoting that a New Zealand rugby player was playing American football, that would be music to my ears. I would absolutely love that. And I feel like if these two guys play the cards right, well, we could be seeing them following in the likes of Mitch Wisnowski and Michael Dixon's journey. And I guess that's what this journey is about, but not for everybody. Not every kicker is going into that program thinking, I want to make the NFL. And of course, not every kicker will. In fact, I mean, there's 150 top level college football programs and yet two or three of those kickers get drafted to the professionals. So you've got to be in the top one or two percent of kickers to actually make it to the next level. And I guess the level that you go to is going to be completely up to you and the work that you put in. Now, this guy, Finn Rudd. Finn Rudd, like I was saying before, I don't know where I went off on a tangent, but basically about a week ago I saw a news report come up on the six o'clock news and it was talking about a New Zealander who has committed to a full ride four year scholarship. And the name was Finn Rudd. And I thought, you know what? Fuck, I recognize that name. I've messaged that guy before. Yeah, he's a New Zealander who's playing Juco football. And I assume by the look of this news story, he's finally been able to transfer from the Juco to a Div 1 school. And so in total, he's looking at a six year college football career. Extremely interesting journey due to the fact that you know, I talked to Finn about 12 months earlier whilst he was at JUCO playing American football, being a punter, off of his own back. I don't know the full story. So what I've done is I've, I've reached out to him again and said congratulations on, you know, achieving the scholarship. Um, but also, you know, telling him that I'm going to make this video and I want to make it in depth and I want to tell his story the way that he wants it to be told. Because at age 21, having done what he's done, backing himself, not going through pro kick, being being offered the pro kick program, but deciding to save that money and actually use it on his studies at a JUCO instead and just back his talent. I mean, this guy is a legend already in my books and hopefully after reading his story, he's going to be even more of a legend. So guys, his name is Finn Rudd. He is from New Zealand and believe it or not, he's actually in Christchurch right now. I'm in Christchurch. He's in Christchurch. He's about 20 minutes across town from me. So after making this video, putting it together, putting it out on YouTube, depending on when he's leaving to the States to start his college football career, we might catch up for a kick. And in which case, I'll take the camera down and that will be a pretty fucking cool video. <laughs> pretty cool, man. You know, a dip, pretty, like, yeah. I mean, I don't know how it's gonna go down. I don't know what we're gonna do. We might do a challenge, a challenge video or something fun. But yeah, definitely look out for that. So with that being said, let's type this guy's name into Google. Wow, yeah, swear to God I'm with it. I don't see nobody in my lane is quite go get it like me. Wow. Please don't be wasting my time with that business. Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. See what comes up. Here we go. May the 4th, which was two and a half weeks ago. There's a news report on stuff.co.nz, the national online news reporter. 
Kiwi Finn Rudd lands Division 1 scholarship after taking a dot dot dot. New Zealander Finn Rudd has landed a Division 1 college scholarship as a kicker in American football. Trustworthy, accurate and reliable news. Highland Community. Finn Rudd. UC Davis. That's where he's going. He's 6'3". Wow. I did not know that. Um, okay. <laughs> there he is. The big man. Holding it down for the Kiwis. Oh, fantastic. All right. Um, we've got a few links here that we're going to read through after reading through the document that he sent me. So I'm going to go Athletes USA with his junior college profile. We're going to go Scotty Athletics for Highland Community College Athletics. I'm going to open that one. We'll go the UC Davis Athletics post or page where he's listed at 6'3", a sophomore, hometown Wellington, high school, Lincoln High School, in 2016, which is here in Christchurch. Um, all right, so now we'll look at the news stories. From Kiwi to Aggie, punter Rudd adds worldly flair. All right? Kiwi kicker, a step closer to NFL dream with scholarship to top... dot, dot, dot. Yep. And the awesome thing is, man, he's done it all on his own back. But we've got one more link to save. Kiwi Finn Rudd lands Division 1 scholarship. Okay, so there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six stories. As well as that, we will go to the video form of Google, which is YouTube. And we'll do the same thing. Because if we can get some highlights, that would be... That would be absolutely awesome. Uh, we've got one video at the top there, but it doesn't look too good. Finn Rudd football. Oh, these are his... He's got one subscriber. Well, now you've got two. No likes. Are you kidding me, bro? Well, I'll give you your first like and your first comment. Go hard out there. Go hard out there. All right, so we've got his highlights sweet we've got his statistics plus news stories we're ready to read i've just i've just read the first line of the second paragraph i shouldn't do that let's go so i first discovered that there was a punting kicking aspect to american football back in 2016 so that's two years before i did it was certainly a long shot but i decided to learn the ropes for about a year or two before before eventually sending film out to college coaches in the united states with most coaches showing no interest at all because of my lack of experience in the game, I had a select few who replied and eventually offered me a spot on the roster. I like this already. This was in 2019, after about four minimum wage paying jobs, three years after I first started punting kicking at a field in Christchurch, New Zealand. And that's where we sit right now. So we heard about it back in 2016, decided to just watch the game, learn what he could, take the ball down to the field and practice. Practice, practice. Took some game film off of his own back, sent it out to colleges, all the while, all the while working, you know, a full-time job, minimum wage, thinking there's got to be a better life out there than this. I eventually signed with Highland Community College, a small college lo located in a town with a population of about a thousand people. You sign with Highland Community College, a small college located in a town. So the college doesn't have a thousand people, the town has a thousand people. Okay. Big culture shock at first, not many people could understand what I was saying, and there were a lot of adjustments to be made in terms of adapting to the game. Wow! I mean, I went to Alice Springs, a town extremely remote, but we had 30,000 people, not 1,000. That's insane, bro. I'm gonna have to look that up. So, big culture shock, no one can understand what he's saying, and it's a completely different game. I ended up spending 18 months at Highland Community College. I played one season and gained a degree also. Fast forward to today and I'm signing with the University of California, Davis, to play for the next four years. I feel like we're missing something here. I wanted to hear a little bit more about his time at Highland Community College and what he did to get to the point where he signed, you know, for this top school. Some advice I have for anyone wanting to chase their dream no matter how crazy it may seem. And listen up guys, I've never read this before. Let's see what he has to say. It's just to trust your gut and do not look back at all. 
I had a lot of people, including my friends and family, tell me that this dream was f too far-fetched and not possible for some kid from New Zealand. Set a goal, figure out what you need to do in order to reach your goal, and grind. You will get there eventually, if you want it bad enough, I promise. Signed, Finn Rudd. Okay. Well, Finn? Finn! Mr. Rudd. Mr. Rudd? No, that sounds similar to Kevin Rudd. Actually, Kevin Rudd's a bit of a legend in Australia. Finn, look, first and foremost, I want to say thank you so much for sending that through. It was brief, but it gave us an idea of what we're looking at. Next thing we're going to do is look at Finn's highlight tape, which is 4 minutes and 43 seconds long. After that, we're going to search for and read as many news articles on this story as possible. I do want to get my head around the whole entire thing. I want to give my audience a real in-depth view of uh, Finn Rudd. And with all that being said, guys, it's time we look at his highlights. So sit back, relax, and let's see some punts. Whoop. Okay. Here we go. Bit of a high, bit of a high snap. We've got the, the four blockers coming through. I don't know, I don't know what they call um, his three linemen that have stayed. Are they gonna move? Are they gonna move to try and block these guys? Oh my god! <laughs> One guy just ran straight into them. What were you expecting to happen? Watch this. Bang! <laughs> that looked like a lot of... Oh, mate, what a kick. Where's that kick from? Out at the two-yard line. From the 55. An up and under, end over end punt. 50 yards on the fly, out at the two for a kick inside the 20. Oh, I missed one. Fucking hell, that looks like a huge boot. Where'd you kick that from? From the 22, all the way to the 28. So 22 plus 28 equals 50. 50 yards on the fly. Okay. You've got to have at least 50 yards. It's, I'm thinking the hang time looks at least 4 seconds. But we will check that. That was a nice punt. Let me see. Different camera angle too. I like this one. I wish we had some commentary. So this is from 30, 25 on the 22. Oh, it's the same kick. 20, yeah, it's the, same, oh, it's the same kick from the other angle. Okay. End over end punt. Fair catch called on the 15 yard line. From where? That is on the 40. And he caught it right on the 15, so that's 45, 45, 45 yards. Now these punts between, you know, the 50 yard line and probably your own 30 yard line, uh, the punts where you can get the, the, I guess the biggest bang for your buck is if you're really camped down in your red zone, all you want is the biggest booming spiral you can get. But when you're within a distance that if you were to kick it as hard as you could, it may go for a touchback, you've really got to start using I guess more positional kicks, more end over end punts, more punts that you're going to be aiming for a fair catch, you know, not just as much distance as possible. So at this distance, it looks as if he's right within that, you know, that area of just trying to camp them down within their 20. That is the result you want. You don't want anything crazy. You just want a consistent fair catch within the 20 yard line. Is that right? That's exactly what happened there. So that's from the 40 all the way. Holy shit. And again from the 40 to the... Did he call a fair catch? That's 52 yards on the fly. So he's using direction. 
That's another punt within the 20. From the 40 yard line. Easy within the 10. That's at least a 55 yard kick. And another fair catch. Definitely got some... Def oh, fuck. Um, oh, I don't know about that one. Oh! Ah! Oh, they've got it! Where is he? Where is he? Hang on. So from... from that was about a 30-yard punt. A bit of a shank came off the side of the foot yet it probably gave the best result we've seen so far let's have a look yeah that was a shocker but he fumbles it they recover it where's the kicker I want to see his let's see a celebration see what he does kicks it sees it he's like oh shit am I gonna have to tackle someone here and no <laughs> Someone needs to slap him on the helmet. That was a terrible snap there. Now where's he kicking this from? From the eight. No. Was it? Yes. From the eight yard line. To the 35. That's 57 yards. Excuse me. Um, number twenty-six in red. What, 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 what gives you the right to be celebrating after that run? You bet one tackle. Okay, we got some. We got some kickoffs. We've got some kickoffs, and that looks like it went for a touchback, which means he's not only got the distance for punting, but he's also definitely got the distance for kickoffs. I didn't know he did kickoffs, or maybe I did. That is a monstrous kick. Wow. From the 35. Boom! And once again, goes dead for a touchback. What's this one? Three touchbacks? What do we got here? Is he, is he holding it or is he kicking it? Have you ever seen someone closer to blocking a kick than this number 12 did? Right then. Ah! Finn Rudd just gets it away in time. Okay, so he must be showing us punting, kickoffs, and field goals. And this must be his practice field because it says H on it. And that's Highland, right? Oh, we've got some sound. Looks like it's down at the local field. Looks like Christchurch Sky, to be fair. I'm not sure where this is. But that is a... That's 55. That's a 55-yard kick, for sure. It's from the 50. Guaranteed he's placed that at the 50 metre line. Guaranteed he's down at the rugby field, placed that at halfway, which is 50 metres, 55 yards, straight through. Big Finn. Oh, training at the home field. In fact, speaking of fit, look at that field. That is pristine. He's living in a town with a thousand people. Yet, the local Juco football stadium looks like that. I've never played on grass or turf or a field that nice. Literally, I'm telling you right now, and this is science. You walk out of the tunnel onto a field like that. Your speed and your power just went up 20%. No shit. So this is his highlight clip. He must have... How many, it's got like 100 views, so he must have used this clip to send out to prospective coaches after playing his season 
at Highland, which is all part of the plan. I'm sure he had that in his head. He's like, right, I need a season. I need to, I need to get some clips. I need to put them together. I need to then send them out. And lo and behold, he's gone and done it. So fucking hell. Finn Rudd, mate. Absolute legend. Let's continue. From the 50, looking for backspin, looking for the kick to hold up. Within the 20. Oh, not like that. Looking to get the kicks to land within the 20 with some direction on them. End over end punts. They're all looking really nice actually. Really nice. Oh, here we go. Fuck, that reminds me of me. <laughs> I swear I've made this video before. That's some fucking hang time though, I gotta say. That is some decent hang time. I think I'd better I think I'd better start timing some of these. We'll time these last few. It's a mixture of drop and spiral punts. And so just as if I was a coach watching this, we're gonna get the stopwatch out. And we're going to time them. It's literally like after talking to this guy, I went down to the field myself. I said, bro, if you've done one thing for me, you've motivated me to go down to the field right now and test my hang time. And I did that. And I got consistent four second hang times. And if you can get that up to a 4.5, I think you're in business. If this is 4.5, that's, that's, you know, that's fairly decent. So let's have a look. Bang. Oh shit, that was decent actually. That first one was 4.45. We might be onto something here. Whoa, 4.63. Damn, you got some hang time there, mate. All right. Four thirty. Three fifty nine, but it wasn't specifically for hang time. Four eighteen. Four thirty one. Four thirty one. Four eighteen. Okay, so definitely every single kick there was probably over four four seconds. You don't want to be showing coaches anything less than your best if you don't have to. So, anyways, that is his highlights. Finn Rudd. He's played one season of JUCO football and he's managed to off of his own back, like I keep saying, or possibly you know with the help of his coaches and recommendations and stuff. But instead of going through pro kick and putting all of his trust in them, paying the money, etc. Decided to do it on his own, and, and I, I respect that, I really do. So, Finn Rudd, all the best. Uh, before we move on, I will just have a quick look at some of your statistics on the internet. So Finn has a profile on Athlete USA. So he's got, an, he's got a profile on Athlete USA, but no information. We've got, <laughs> there he is. The man from New Zealand lands in town with no idea. No one can understand him. He's a walk-on. Believes in himself. 6'2 at that point. He's listed at 6'3 now. Number 37. 200 pounds from Wellington, New Zealand. This is fucking cool, man. This is, this is incredible. I love this. I love this shit. Hopefully they've got his stats. Hey, they do too. So he's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 games worth of statistics. He kicked a punt in four of the games and he kicked kickoffs in all of the games. So it looks as if he was a kickoff specialist but also did some of the punting. 
and it looks as if they play a school called Garden City, which is the school that featured on Last Chance U, if I'm not mistaken. That's pretty cool. Okay, so he's got one tackle <laughs> against Dodge City. <laughs> one tackle, that's awesome. I wish I could see that. Season started 25th of August, ended 26th of October. We've got a total of 26 punts for 831 yards, which must be an average of around about 35. 35 net yards per punt. We've got a longest punt of 45 yards during the season. We've got eight fair catches. We've got seven punts inside the 20 and zero 50 plus punts. No punts were blocked. No punts were blocked, which is good. Kickoffs, we've got 32 kickoff attempts with three touchbacks. For total kickoff yards, which is a statistic that I'm not sure if anyone really cares about, but for the year, 32 kickoffs, 1,783 kickoff yards with three touchbacks. And if we've got three touchbacks, that means that at least three kicks or three restarts were 65 yards or longer, which is a monster of a kick. That was great, bro. That was fucking awesome. Finn, let's have a look at ya. There he is. And here we go, the next one. Bit of a step up. UC Davis, Aggies, University of California, Davis campus. Six foot three, sophomore from Lincoln High School, and he went to Highland Community College, as we know. Have we got some stats for this year? No, we don't, but we will, and I can't wait to see it. So those were his statistics and his profiles. We're going to look at a couple of news stories. We're going to read a couple of news stories that have come out over the years, and actually... No, you know what? All three of these stories are from different news outlets, but they're all covering the fact that he's just signed with a university. So let's read all three. First one we'll read is from the major online news reporting agency in New Zealand called Stuff. And it looks as if they've got a video. Is this the special that they, is this the special that they played on the news? If it is, of your first morning coffee, maybe you've got breakfast. Or we're in business. I was hoping I'd be able to find that. The coffee club cafes are now open again, so come in and share a laugh with an old friend and make your day a good one. The I don't care about club, coffee club. Your happy place. This is a video on stuff. So someone's grabbed that from YouTube, put some music behind it. Get this. Punt now coming his way. High snap there, but Ben's going to get this off cleanly and gets this one to go. Bouncing right at the five and go out of bounds. Good job by Finn to not send it back into the end zone. It's down at the three. He's got a nice end over end punt, gotta say. And on the punt this ball is a young man who is out of uh, New Zealand. Wellington, New Zealand. Yeah, he is. For Highland, here's a high snap, and the kick is away. He got it away. It's a low kick. Wait, this is the Good fumble. Bounce across no, it's midfield, not. and it's going to go no, inside the Butler 40, and down to the 35 yard line. We'll be down there. Well, that's a nice kick by Finn Rudd, who is out of Wellington, New Zealand. He had a high snap, and he got that kick away. Almost oh, blocked. I've got shivers, guys. That's incredible hearing that. That's all you want is to hear your name called just fucking once, and he's done it. But we're not going to see anything we haven't seen before, so let's read. A few years back, Wellingtonian Finn Rudd took a punt on a less travelled sporting pathway and has been getting a kick out of it pretty much ever since. Now this one-time Kiwi high school footballer, as in soccer, is getting ready to step into the frenzied arena of American Division I college football, with his sights on one day taking a crack at the Mega Millions of the NFL. Not bad for a self-taught American football punter who had never so much as picked up the pigskin before he started exploring his options at the end of high school when his time in the round ball code meandered to an unpromising conclusion. Rudd, now 21 and finishing up a stint as a punter kicker at the junior college level in Kansas, has just landed a full scholarship to Division I University of California, where he will head most likely in August, the coronavirus pandemic permitting. The Kiwi youngster, born and bred in Wellington with a touch of Canterbury thrown in, wants to shout his latest accomplishments from the rooftops, partly because he's justifiably proud of what he's achieved in such unusual circumstances, and partly because he hopes he might 
he just might inspire other Kiwis to follow suit. I'm getting shivers again, man. Fuck me, dead. Rudd's sporting story is by no means your standard boy makes good progression. When he finished up at Link Lincoln High, just out of Christchurch in 2016, he was a passably good first 15 footballer, a long way from carving out anything special in the beautiful game. Then, thanks to the long reach of social media, he discovered something that piqued his interest and changed his life. Three or so years later, he's about to play Division I college football in the US, and maybe one day line up a shot at the biggest league on the planet. Rudd never knew much about American football when, late in 2016, he started reading up on a large number of Australians carving careers as kickers in Div 1 college ball. Some had even made the NFL. I saw this guy on Instagram, looked up the position, and saw they literally just kicked the ball. That's their sole job. With no knowledge of anything, I went down to the park and started kicking. For three years, I was just kicking, 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 whenever I could. Three years, guys! Here in Christchurch. Like he said in the letter, Practice makes perfect. Rudd worked for a supermarket in Wellington and would spend every morning at the park kicking the football. Then when he moved to a gruelling factory job in Rolleston, Canterbury, his kicking sessions moved to an evening slot. See, this is the story that I wanted Finn to write, but Stuff's done it for us. But he kept at it and got better and better. Eventually Highland gave this driven Kiwi a shot as a punter, restarter and backup field goal man. Now Davis will bring him in as a likely red shirt sophomore as they groom him for their main punting role. In American football, the three kicking roles, punter, kickoffs and at goal, are specialised. A kicker enters the game as part of a special teams and plays only that phase. A punter could go the whole season without seeing a live ball situation. Or not. As Rudd discovered in his one and only season playing competitive football in 2019. In the third to last game of the season at Dodge, he took a kickoff with 30 seconds remaining and his team up 2016. My kickoff team wasn't as flash as I thought they were. The guy caught the ball, came all the way down the side, and I was the last man standing. This is the tackle. He's a huge dude, 6'3", 220, and if he scores, they win. I thought, oh, here we go. I threw my body at him, went for his legs, and definitely got the worst end of that hit. But hey, we saved the game. Boom! The tackle of the man. I want to see that. I really do. Let's see. Highland versus Dodge. College football. Iowa Central versus Highland. Look, we've got full coverage of games. Oh! No, that's 2017. Um, Highland Community College. Highland. Fuck, I'd love to be able to see this. Dodge City, 2019. Damn. Uh, shit. Ah, it really sucks. Um, Finn Rudd. Last one. Finn Rudd, tackle. Dodge. City. No! We're not gonna find it. That's okay. He saved the game. What a legend. As mentioned, this is not a well-traveled pathway for Kiwis. Rudd's inspiration was Auckland's Johnny Linehan, who had who has just finished his career at Brigham Young University, where he first attended on a rugby scholarship, but switched halfway through to become punter on the football team. Now Rudd hopes to use this opportunity as a stepping stone, not just to a degree, but potentially a career in the NFL. That's the dream, and has been since I started kicking the football. The reason New Zealanders and Aussies are so sought after is because of the way we kick the ball. We can backspin it, and that's valuable in this game. Davis, which plays in the Blue Sky Conference, has sent two punters to the NFL, over the last half dozen years. Rudd would love to make that three. I wonder who the other two were. I want people to know that this is an opportunity that's within reach if you work hard enough. I had a 15 year old kid message asking how I did this. I told him to do his research and find his pathway. When I'm done with my career, I'd love to come back to New Zealand and start a pathway. I wasn't a freak athlete or kicker. There were probably a hundred guys at my high school that could be doing this. When I first picked up an American football, I was terrible. It's different to kicking a rugby ball. You have to figure it out. I just kept the faith and said to myself, if you, if you keep doing this every day, eventually you're going to be really good at it. And that's what happened. Oh my God, mate. This fucking guy. This, this, that story is inspirational. If I was a Kiwi kid reading that, I mean, it just opens up. It opens your, your world. It opens your world to, to possibilities you never ever thought were possible. And that only happened for me in 2018, like I mentioned, when I sought after what Australians or New Zealanders have made it into the NFL. And I started seeing pro kick and I started seeing all these punters and kickers and I started realizing that, yes, I mean, this 
position of punter or kicker, you only have to kick. That's all you do. And I had the same reaction as, as Finn did. I, I simply couldn't believe it. I was like, well, that's just too easy. I mean, you've got to have a decent leg, of course. But anyway, you know what I'm talking about. So that was New Zealand's version of the story. We do have another one here, but I'm not going to read it because we've been here far too long already. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to read a story from an American journalist talking about the same journey. And this first line just makes me smile. New Zealander, finally, Finn Rudd made the transition from rugby to US football. So that's New Zealand and rugby in the same sentence. My heart is full. Let's anoint Finn Rudd with a nickname. The Kickin' Kiwi. The Kickin' Kiwi. <laughs> I know someone that might not be too happy about that. Uh, you better trademark it, Finn. A 21-year-old soon-to-be sophomore, Rudd hails from Wellington, New Zealand, and he's headed to UC Davis in an effort to inherit the Aggie punting job. Rudd has acclimated to American ways, having spent last fall booting the pigskin for Highland Community College from Kansas. This came after working hard in his native land to negotiate moving from soccer and rugby to US football. Rudd recently told Stuff.co.nz that his interest in the American game started in high school. Okay, so this story has just quoted the story from New Zealand's page. So really, there is no reason to read it, except for this final part. The coach, or one of the coaches from UC Davis, comments. Finn has a high ceiling and has tremendous potential, Hawkins promises. He will bring some international flair to our program and university. It's really fun to add him to our culture. And I would have to agree. And there he is. Ah, what a journey, what a story. And that my friends brings us to the end of the video. So Finn, I hope you enjoyed. Any New Zealanders or Australians out there, any prospective, any kids out there, any, fuck, you know, I don't know who could be watching this video, but whoever is watching, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I'm a proud New Zealander and I am so happy to be back in my home country of New Zealand right now. I'll be supporting our local lads such as Finn and I just hope that you guys out there do too. So if you do want to hit any of these guys up, any of these punters, kickers that I've mentioned on the videos, please do go to their Instagrams, give them a follow, give them a like, give them some encouragement and say Jacob sent you. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.